history class. World right? history. And we have Mrs. Delgado. Oh, hi, Mrs. Delgado. Hello. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you will be covering? Well, we're going to start early history, Byzantine Empire, Roman Empire, and then we're going to just move on through time, World War mm -hmm. One, World War Two, and then we're going to end the year with some current events. But depending on what's right. going on, we may have to interject some current events throughout yes, the year. A lot of very interesting <laughs> events coming up. Yes, it will be. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to it. Are you expecting the size to be around 20 to 30? 25 to 30, depending. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. uh, so. How do you find the campus so far? It's amazing. It's nice to have everything new. I'm very excited to be the first year here um, in the uh, inaugural year. Mm -hmm. uh, exciting. The staff's excited. A lot of enthusiasm and oh, the students yes. so far I've met are excited. And it's a pretty big campus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Big campus, lots of different classes, lots of um, rigor and we're ready to challenge our students and help them be successful. I understand they actually start students with different tracks starting at ninth grade, is that correct? Yes, so in ninth grade, they pick a track that they mm -hmm. are interested in for their goals after high school, whether it's college or technical um, or just an AA, you know, to get them started. And they just go, they plan accordingly from there with a pre-major. So okay. it sets them up for success for college or what they want to do after. Oh, very good. And uh, do they have any, like, a pre well, specific requirements to meet in order to graduate? Yes, so they have their Florida standards. They have to take certain classes um, mm -hmm. to get their high school diploma. And then depending on their career track, they have pre-major requirements and classes that they'll have to take. Oh, okay. And then it just helps set them up to be more successful to get into wherever they want to apply for after high school, whether it's college or a technical school. Or Are your classes basically uh, fill all six periods or? Yes, actually, I'll be teaching on seventh periods. We're pretty, pretty oh, full, so oh it'll be a full day. <laughs> and I see you have shelves already starting, well, set up. Those are the textbooks, right? Well, these are some um, supplemental textbooks. Um, oh, we're actually all digital, so students oh, will have laptops, and the okay. curriculum will be all digital. So that's the devices they were talking about mm -hmm. on Facebook. Then... They have their laptops, and mm. we have Pearson as our textbook company, so everything will be digitally based. And will help apply to all different learners and um, help them be successful with the curriculum. So they're going to be bringing their laptop every mm -hmm. day. Every day they'll have Which their is laptop. Much lighter than all the books <laughs> they would have to carry. If they yes. <laughs> so there's really not a um, big need um, mm -hmm. for lockers, but there will be some cases for students who have extracurricular activities and and band that may need a locker to store some things. Oh which they have access to. but Are they being assigned the locker? Rent they can the choose to rent a locker. Rent? Oh, yes. okay. So for those who may not need them, may not, may just not choose Yep, them. they won't need it. They just need a backpack to okay. protect their laptop. Very good. Are there any bike racks around here? I didn't, I don't think the, I saw any. Honestly, I haven't really explored that side of the campus, but that's where student parking is. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure that there's some bike racks there. And then we have the teacher parkings over on this side where the bus loop will be. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Ooh, Thank you. This is already set. <laughs> oh, you've got your world maps and good yes. luck. Thank Have you. Have a wonderful day. You too.